Defining your audience. Who do you want to visit the site? This is important, you know, not only for planning, but also for the design aspect. So if you're um, planning a site that is, you know, maybe educational for kids, just kind of fun and interactive, you're obviously good to, gonna, going to design it very differently than if you were designing a website for, say, a law office. Obviously, that would need to be more professional. Planning the pages. Um, what type of pages <clears throat> are you going to have um, for the overall structure you know you have your main feed but then you can also have is there something in the sidebar um, you know is are certain things only displayed on one page but it's not on a different page these are just things that you need to know ahead of time um, you know if there's a blog what does the blog look like do you want the date displayed do you want authorship shown just you know all these little details that you kind of need to plan ahead of time and um, basically this part also you know what does it look like this part we usually will take wire frames and kind of just box out certain elements so that you can see the overall structure what stands out before all of the detailed elements say pictures everything like that gets added in um, planning the content so you know you wanted to have a slideshow do you know what images you want to include. A lot of times, obviously, people know they want to have a lot of text, but when it comes down to it, um, they really don't know what text they want. So that's important to outline because, you know, based on how much content really affects the design. So that is something that's important to know ahead of time also. And planning the navigation. How quickly can your users find what they're looking for? So um, everyone, you know, there's obviously the main navigation, but you can also have sub-navigation, so your drop-downs, or on certain pages you can have a side navigation. So there are lots of options for navigation, but um, also if you have users and your users log in, is there a separate navigation for them? You know, they might have more options available than someone that just is visiting the site. If they've logged in, they might be able to go to different areas that other users won't be able to go to. So <clears throat> step two is design and layout. So this is probably the more fun part of you know designing the pages, how everything looks. Um, nowadays, it's so important that a site is mobile responsive. Um, you know, people are browsing on their phones, on their tablets, and that's really important to include because um, you know, you obviously want to reach the largest market that you can. So you want to make sure that you can see it everywhere. Um, <coughs> the other thing is that the most important content is what should remain on the mobile site. So, you know, say you have on your main site, you have, you know, 15 pictures and it loads, you know, pretty relatively quickly on the site, but on a mobile site, things load a lot slower. So you want to kind of cut down your content so that your load speed can increase. Um, user experience. So is the site intuitive? Do people know where to click? You know, I'm sure everyone's been to a site that's just so overwhelming and you don't know where to go. You don't know where to get to the information, um, you know, how to get to the information that you're looking for. So, um, you know, always testing from the user side, how would they know where to navigate your site? And efficiency, which I short, sort of mentioned before, which has to do with page speed. So, you know, removing some of the things that on a mobile device might cause the pages to load a little bit slower. If people have to wait too long, they're going to be a little impatient and probably just navigate away from your site. I know I'm guilty of that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then um, moving on, so step three is strategic implementation. So once all of, all of this is planned, you know, it's, it's all about implementing it. So um, what we do is we create all of our sites on, it's a development site. So it's not specifically on your web address. So it's not transferred over. People aren't seeing it until it's been tested and gone through and, um, you know, all of the bugs are worked out. So once that's done, then it's actually transferred to your domain name, which is nice because your customers aren't going to, you know, a semi-finished <coughs> site and, um, you know, experience all the, experiencing all of the bugs that could go along with that. And, um, you know, don't forget the checklist. So as you go through, just keeping in mind, you know, all the original things you had envisioned, making sure that they've all been accounted for. And then we also have um, like a back end checklist that we go through, you know, just as far as making sure that, 
you know, everything's linked properly. Um, you know, if the con if there's a contact form, is it directed to the right email? Things like that, just the back end stuff to, you know, that, um, you know, your visitors don't exactly see. And then, so step four is just marketing. So you could have the best website in the world. It, it looks wonderful. It has all your content on it. But, you know, if you're not advertising it, no one's going to it. So it's just about advertising, you know, in the physical sense, telling people about your website, um, you know, encouraging people to visit. And then there's obviously the search engine optimization side or the internet marketing side of things. Um, you know, there's the pay-per-click, and I won't go into the internet marketing aspect right now because I only have 10 minutes, but, um, <laughs> but you know, marketing it in that way and then just, you know, launching your site and encouraging, you know, people to visit it and then analyzing the traffic. So once your site's up, um, you know, don't just leave it stagnant, kind of analyze, you know, where your market's at, what things you're doing, if you have specials, and then just changing it, you know, to keep it fresh so that your continuing customers that have, you know, are coming back to your site, they're seeing something different and fresh and kind of, you know, helping to keep you in the forefront of their mind. So that is my presentation for today.